it feels fantastic. I feel shocked and stunned and, and, and was not expecting this at all. I'm delighted to announce that the winner of the 2018 Sunday Times Peter Fraser and Dunlop Young Writer of the Year Award in association with Warwick University is Adam Weymouth. When I set out to write this book, it felt like such a personal project. It's about a fish, which is not the most charismatic of animals, and it's about a part of the world that very few people have experience of. And I really felt that there's a story here which is not just applicable to the Yukon. And the fact that I feel that the judges have kind of recognised that, that there is a wider story here to be told to people feels, yeah, really validating and that this personal project has got, has, has got something else to it as well. Adam winning this year means that the prize is doing exactly what it should be doing, which is discovering and championing new young writers. I would not take anything away from the other three writers at all. They've written substantial, significant books, but there was rather very swift unanimity on, the, on Adam's book. Uh, and we all looked at each other and thought, we've discovered someone here. When Andrew Holgate uh, called me one Sunday while he was gardening and saying he wanted to bring the prize back, and could I think of any sponsors? I thought about what it is we do as an agency which is all about nurturing talent and the most important thing you can do is when you find a writer is support that writer and it's so difficult and such a journey and it's so competitive and it's so demoralizing unless along the way there are things that just make you convinced that you can do this and I think prizes and awards and festivals and all sorts of things just shine a spotlight for a minute on somebody's incredible talent are so important early on in people's careers. I think it's tremendously important in terms of what it does to support young writers and it's a fantastic fit for us as a university because we have um, the UK's leading creative writing programme and indeed one of Europe's leading creative writing programmes. Um, I think it's so important that we're recognising um, achievement at quite an early stage in people's careers because these are the individuals who will become the beacons for the literary world of the future and who will become the role models for emerging young writers that come through programmes such as our own. So having a mechanism to support them but also actually to recognise and celebrate their achievement I think is hugely important. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Well I feel like I need to write another book. I suppose you set off writing a book and it's this very kind of isolated project. I've wanted to write books since I was very small. Um, and then you write a book and then you get it published and now I kind of feel like I've... I don't know, you get a sense of the wider community that's around and, and there's a lot of people around that feel like books matter and, and starting to tap into that in a way feels... Yeah, it feels fantastic at the moment. <laughs>